Welcome back first timers, but if you're new here, I'm David and this is Terry. We're the first timers. We're trying things for the first time and you can too. There'll be a break in the weather and we can show you Navarre Pier and Navarre Beach. But until then, we're gonna grab some lunch. We're here at Windjammers on the pier. So we've heard a lot of great things about this place, uh, not just for the location because it's right on the pier, but also because the food is supposed to be really good. We're gonna get uh, their famous pier burger. Would you get a red snapper? I got a, a red fish po' boy. We also got an order of the tenders. And fried pickles just because we gotta try them all now. We'll let you know how it is. The fried pickles are cut long ways. That's exciting and different. Yeah. It's pickly, it's salty, it's fried. Very lightly battered. Mm hmm <laughs> You get a whole lot more pickle flavor mm -hmm. than batter flavor. Which I prefer. They're pretty Super okay. oily. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Well, like in true Florida fashion, you wait a few minutes and the sun comes out. So we just wrapped up lunch at Windjammers on the pier and it was pretty good. Great location, the prices were great. It's right on the water. The portions were massive though. Yeah. I mean, my redfish sandwich was packed with fish. Her burger was gigantic. We didn't even finish, come close to finishing the- Tenders. The, oh, those. Or the pickles. No, nope, didn't. <laughs> So we're gonna have some leftovers, but huge portions. So if you're out here looking for a good view, want some relatively cheap snacks for being right on the water, Windjammer's your place. So we're gonna get on this pier and show you what it's like. The Navarre Fishing Pier is the longest fishing pier in Florida and the longest in the Gulf, in the Gulf of Mexico. The 15th largest in the United States. It's 1,545 feet long. And 30 feet off the ground. And an average fishing depth of 25 to 30 feet. And it was originally built in 1963, but completely destroyed in 2004, thanks to Hurricane Ivan. So they've rebuilt it in 2010 and now it's open and for a dollar you could walk and for fishing it's seven dollars. And there are a lot of people fishing today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. our second pier. We went to the Okaloosa Island Pier in a previous video and then now we're at the Navarre Pier and the volume of fish being caught here is insane I compared mean, to the other pier. And we're not anglers so we don't know I mean there's probably a reason why but man 
it seems like everybody's pulling out fish right now. It's pretty exciting. You got to watch where you're walking because yeah. the hooks are coming back. People take this very seriously, so we're trying to stay out of people's way. Yeah. And let them have a good time. Yeah, it's there's a lot of fish being caught. Yeah. I still batting a thousand. Never <laughs> caught a fish yet. <laughs> Keeping the streak alive. Yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Just walking around and seeing the sights at Navarre Beach and Navarre Pier. They do have a sea turtle sanctuary, and for a small nominal fee, you can get in and you can learn about the sea turtles and their conservation efforts that are going on, and uh, which which would be a great place to go if it was raining and yeah. just tuck away for a little bit. Yeah, it is small, but like like we said, the weather changes really quickly. So if you just pop in there, check out the turtles, and you go right back to the beach. Yeah. So not only is there the pier and there's restaurants, there's a couple bars, uh, you also have the opportunity to rent jet skis, boats. You name all, it. And what do you think about Wana's? It's crazy in there. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of levels. <laughs> a lot of steps, a lot, lot of, of levels. It's multi-level relaxation complex. Yeah. There's a... There's the, always a volleyball game going on, it seems like, whenever we've been by. There's a tiki bar, actually a couple tiki bars. There's yeah. a band playing. They have food, great view. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have time to stop there to eat or get any drinks or anything like that. Sure. Uh, it looked like the, the happening spot here. And kind of about that, the Navarre Beach and Navarre, and Navarre Pier area is definitely a lot more tame than over at Okaloosa Island or Destin. Destin. Yeah, so it seems a lot more family friendly mm -hmm. as evident by the the park and the welcome center right across the bridge from yeah. the beach and yeah, um, there's, there's definitely more families over here yeah it seems very family centric yeah Finally made it to the world famous Tommy's for a snowball. How excited are you? So excited. Been waiting all day. So I got the pretty in pink, which was uh, all kinds of flavors. And it was like passion fruit and mango, uh, and pineapple, guava, passion fruit, and lemonade. And yours was alligator's blood, uh, strawberry and lime. Well, that sounds good. But I got mine stuffed. Hers is stuffed, which means she gets a scoop of ice cream at the bottom. And I got mine creamed, which means they drizzle a heavy condensed uh, milk. milk all over the top. So that's the only way I like it. Creamed, she likes it stuffed. Well, I think uh, my hair is about as frizzy as it can be. So I think it's time to get out of here. <laughs> all right, well, we hope you follow along on our next adventure. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five.